Absolutely. Uh, when we toured with uh, Van, when we first toured with Van Halen, uh, we uh, we went on and did a leg with them, and we hit it off with them really well, and and, uh, and they were really great to us. They gave us one of our first big breaks, and they kept asking us to come back on for further legs. We ended up being on tour with them for about six months, you know, and uh, uh, became really good friends with Ed, and and uh, to this day, you know, it's one of the one of the friendships ships that I treasure the most, you know. I mean, we don't hang out all the time, but anytime I see him, he comes up and gives me a hug and a kiss, and, and he's just a really genuine guy, and uh, we've always hit it off really well. And, uh, you know, he had his, his uh, he had his guitar line, uh, I think it was the Music Man uh, ver version of his guitar, and he also had the 5150s when they, when they, fir they first came out, and I asked him if I could maybe buy one off him, and he's like, fuck that, man. He's like, it's like when you have nothing, nobody will give you shit. And when you have everything, like I have, fucking everybody gives you everything for free. It's like reversed. It should be the other way around, you know? It's like, let me hook you up. So at the end of that tour, I came home and uh, I was living with my uh, manager, one of my managers at the time, Kelly Curtis and his wife. I was living downstairs at their house. And uh, Kelly kind of greeted me at the door. He's like, hey, welcome back, man. Good tour. Now, would you mind getting your shit out of my fucking garage? And and I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, Eddie Van Halen like filled up my garage full of shit for you. So he, he opened up the garage and there was like a couple of full stacks, a couple of heads and two two of the EVHs, one particular being a, uh, a gold top. And somebody, somebody somewhere along the line stole that from me. And, and I, I, I wish I had that guitar. I don't know where it is. It's still out there somewhere. Somebody has it. Uh, guitar means a lot to me, but it was stolen many years ago. So. Before we play this last song for you, I just got to tell you guys a little quick story. Eddie Van Halen gave me this guitar when we opened up for him, and I, I opened up for Van Halen in like 91. And it was stolen from me in 2001 while I was recording Degradation Trip. And there's a guy in the audience named Tom Brino in Florida, as well as Greg in San Diego, two guys that tracked this fucking guitar down and got it back from the guy that had it. And got it back to me. So thank you, Tom, and your son, Tommy. I'm going to play this song on this guitar for you.
going to be back here again.